psychology major in college and I had no idea that I was passionate about tropical ecology or nature in general until I took a risk and decided to do a short-term study abroad in Costa Rica in the rainforest because I thought it would be cool to see a rainforest um, and I was just absolutely taken aback by the incredible amount of biodiversity. I fell in love with leafcutter ants and toucans and sloths and poison dart frogs and things that I had only ever seen on TV. Uh, my name is Giuliano Salazar Gigli. I came here 18 years ago and actually I studied law, but I, when I came here I changed my life. I was working the last about 14 years building Saturnal Rainforest in Santa Reserve. It's definitely an amazing place in the world. Imagine if the world has about 116 life zones. In this place, about 2 to 3 percent of the biodiversity in the world. Um, it's a completely different thing to be out in the forest and experiencing these things firsthand. Um, to wake up to the sound of a dawn chorus of hundreds of different birds. Um, to go to sleep at night to the sound of katydids and crickets and and frogs, um, their chorus at night. Um, a lot of times, especially nowadays, we talk about, about disconnecting, right? We're always on our phones, we're, we're always on Facebook, and people think about going into nature as a way of disconnecting. And I actually challenge that. I think that's, that's our way of connecting. I think we actually live our lives very disconnected from what it means to be a human that evolved in this world, in this forest, right? And the fact that we're sometimes uncomfortable in the forest is so mind-boggling to me because this is where we came from. And naturally, as humans, we need to be connected to it. Um, and I think we'd all be a lot happier for it and healthier, as would all the animals and plants. There is a big corridor from Caribbean to Pacific, and this corridor, biological corridor, is helping all these species to survive. Uh, fortunately, basically, Monteverde Conservation League, with the help of Monteverde Institute and many students from the whole world, they were planting uh, about two million trees at this point, uh, most in the Pacific Slope because it's the slope more affected by deforestation in the last years. I think the best way to make people care about the forest and the best way to generate donors, big donors, is to show them the forest, honestly, and not just through film, not just through written publications, but take them out there so they can experience the magic. In, in my experience, that's what I do for a living, and I think once you understand how intricately, intricately connected animals, plants, this whole ecosystem is, um, you, you never forget it, and you're, you're forever more in awe of, of nature.